in a couple of examples in the next page to determine some exact values for some uh, uh, product and sum of some trig ratios. And here's the table from the previous page. At the end, we're going to fill in the uh, sine, cos, and tan of 0 and of 90 degrees as well. So the sine of 30. The sine of 30 degrees is a half, so we put a half in place of the sine of 30. The tan of 45 is 1. Okay, tan uh, 45 degrees would be this 1 here. The tan of 30 degrees is root 3 over 3. Tan 30 is this root 3 over 3. And the sine of 60 degrees, sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. So there's this root 3 over 2 substituted in place of the sine of 60. Now, 1 half times 1 is, of course, a half. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. And in the denominator, 3 times 2 is 6. Now, 3 halves reduces, sorry, 3 sixths reduces to a half. And so a half and a half would add to 1. So the exact value of all this is actually exactly 1. In B, the cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2, so we substitute root 3 over 2 here. The sine of 45 is root 2 over 2. The sine of 30 degrees is a half. And the tan of 30 degrees is root 3 over 3. And so expanding out, root 3 times root 2 is root 6. 2 times 2 is 4 in the denominator. 1 times root 3 is root 3, and 2 times 3 is 6 in the denominator. To add these, we need a common denominator, 4 and 6. The common denominator is 12. So I would multiply the 1 on the left by 3 top and bottom, and the uh, 1 on the right by 2 top and bottom to change both my denominators to 12. And so the common denominator is 12, so on top of that we have 3 times the square root of 6, which is written as 3 root 6, and 2 times the root of 3, which is 2 root 3. And so the exact value for this is 3 root 6 plus 2 root 3 over 12. Now, we're going to fill in the rest of the table over here. And we're going to talk about 0 degrees first and 90 degrees at the bottom here. Now, I've drawn a really skinny triangle here. And the idea is that as this side gets shorter here on the left, this angle gets really close to 0 degrees. And then, of course, this one here gets really, really big and gets close to 90. We'll talk about that in the bottom. So as this side gets really small, if it actually collapses to 0, then the opposite side here would have a length of 0. And then we would actually have a 0 angle here. Now, for sine, remember sine is opposite divided by hypotenuse. So as, as this angle approaches 0, the opposite side approaches 0 as well. And so we would have 0 divided by the length of the hypotenuse. And 0 divided by anything, of course, is 0. So that's why the sine of 0 is 0. Now, as this angle approaches 0, and hence this side gets small and approaches 0 as well, then what happens in the triangle is the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, if this angle was actually 0 here, the adjacent hypotenuse would have the same length. Notice how close they are in, in the diagram right now. And if they have the same length, then when you're dividing two things with the same length, you get a value of 1. So that's why the cosine of 0 degrees is 1. Now, tan is opposite divided by adjacent. And so if this side here reduces to 0, we'd have 0 divided by something. And of course, that's always 0. Now, specifically, actually, it's 0 divided by a non-zero value. The adjacent side is not 0, and, and that's another reason why that equals 0. Now, for the 90 degrees in the bottom, if this side reduced to 0 here, then this angle up here is what gets approaches 90. And if that actually equaled 90, then again, this side would have a length of nothing, and the triangle actually would have no area. So if we have a 90-degree angle up here, Remember, for sine, it's the opposite side, which would be this side in this case. So remember, we're talking about a 90 degree, 90 degree angle up here. So if this is the opposite side, and that was 90, this opposite side would have the same length as the hypotenuse. And so again, dividing two things with the same value, we would get a sine of, sine of 90 degrees with a, having a value of 1. Now, the cosine is the adjacent, so again, if this side reduces to 0, and we have a 90 degree angle here, you'd have 0 divided by the length of the hypotenuse. And again, 0 divided by anything is 0. 
Now the tan of 90 degrees is actually undefined because if this was 90 degrees here, then the adjacent side would be zero. And so we'd be dividing our length for our opposite by zero and you cannot divide by zero. So that's why the tan of 90 degrees does not exist. As the angle approaches 90 degrees, the tan value gets really big because if this was, for example, let's say 89.6 degrees, then this would be whatever the opposite side is and the adjacent side would be really small. And so the tan of an angle close to 90 gets really large. And of course, uh, the closer you get, the bigger it gets. But the tan of 90 degrees doesn't exist because you cannot divide an adjacent side by a length of zero. And that's the end of this PowerPoint.